um, how can we train our reason? Uh, we've talked about that a little bit before. I believe that I want to write a book about this. Uh, pray for me that I succeed. I think we really have to have in English good material. Our theology is beautiful. It is a profound theology. And we need to be able to write it in good English, have it in Spanish and German and French. Again, one of the questions that I was asked here during the break is, is it is good to talk about things like this with disbelievers? And most people who are disbelievers, they are disbelievers because, first of all, what they have seen from believers totally turns them off. Most people who are atheists or agnostics are that way because of the things they've seen, quote unquote, believers do. And like, if this is religion, I don't want any part of it. And then also, most of the people who don't believe, they don't know how to think about it. They don't have the words, they don't have the cognitive frames, they don't have the, 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 the tools to do it. So when we teach our Aqidah, one of the main things that we're doing is giving you words, giving you concepts, necessary being, possible being, impossible being, temporality, existence after nothingness, the, the change, the meaning of change, the attributes and the essences. And once you begin to think like that, and you, uh, inshallah you'll see this, it becomes very meaningful to you. Uh, you know, one of the parts of the question here is, is it normal to find what we learn in Apida too overwhelming and a lot to take? And, you know, um, I think that's normal. You know, um, because of the fact that we have to assimilate new words. We have to assimilate new ways of thinking. We have to examine the way we thought before. And that takes highly intelligent people, and you are highly intelligent people. But that requires us to listen and to wait. And then I begin to get it. Then I begin to get it. And as I said before, when I began to study this theology for the first time, which was in 1984, um, I loved it. I loved to study it. But really, it's like, it was difficult for me. It was difficult for me. But then it gets easier. It gets easier. And also, uh, the same man who told me to study it, he then told me a few years later, he said, now translate it into English and write a commentary for your aunt. So I have an aunt that I think she doesn't not alive anymore, but I loved her very much and she was very good. And her cousin came to see me in the Hijaz. And so he said, write her a commentary for this and then put it on tape for her so she can listen to it. I did. And then he said, put it away, don't use it ever. <clears throat> now I can make a book from it, but it'd be much better. At that time, it's still sort of elementary, you know, but that process of translating it and making a commentary, that made me have to understand it. And I would go to other teachers and I'd say, what does this really mean? You know, how does change indicate... I had a big problem with that. How does change in indicate temporality? After a while, they said, oh, wow, I got it. I finally got it, but you have to work at it. So this is why we have to, uh, we have to listen. لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ مَا كُنَّا مَا كُنَّا مِنْ أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ Is that how it goes? لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ مَا كُنَّا فِي أَوْ مِنْ فِي أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ Right? So we have to listen. But it means listen, سَمَعَ الْقَبُولِ because you can't just change like that. It takes time. It's harder than learning language. You learn language and you hear the word again, you forget it, you heard it again, you forget that after a while you begin to get it and it holds. So, you know, because we're here for a short time, we try to do this in a short time. Whereas maybe in terms of education, it would be much better if we took a long time and just little lessons and talked about it. 
But, you know, we don't, and it's recorded, so you can listen to it again if you want. And you can listen to it again. But to assimilate these things is really important. And that's why also in our tradition, you are taught and then you teach. You know, you get the lesson and then you teach others. You teach your friends and they teach you. And then we learn it. بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى